How do you guys do that? I mean, how, how does that process work when you're writing together or putting together an episode? It happens organically, the combination of tones. It's not like we really set out to do a mashup. I think it, more than anything else, just reflects the way our brains work and the way we are in the room when we talk about the show. One minute we'll really be into the tragedy of a situation and then the next minute we'll be cracking a joke about it, so that's what's reflected on the screen. It works for me. <laughs> Where do we go in the new season now that they've essentially pissed the gods' parents off? They've turned off magic by sending out the uh, the plumber, uh -huh. um, and, and we end the season with the potential that they can start to get the magic back on the run. Where do we go? Is that your question? Yes. <laughs> Stuff gets very, very poorly for our characters. <laughs> Um, they all have to learn how to drive again. Yeah. <laughs> Take the subway. They have to get jobs. Yeah, and they, 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 all, they all have to get cell phones again. Yeah. It's like, uh, they're so expensive. I mean, we talk a lot about this show as a, ma a fun, magical way of talking about coming of age in your 20s. And, you know, season one was finding your people and trying to figure out who you were. And then in season two, they had to grow up and assume responsibility for the first time. But in the room, we talk a lot about the fact that there is that moment as you're growing up, and it might be when you're 16 and it might be when you're 25, when your parents stop helping. And you are now out on your own, and if you don't pay your rent, you get evicted. And there's an ebb and flow in real life to just abundance and resources. And so our characters have been like angsting and fucking each other over in an environment of abundance for a couple of seasons. And now we've taken that away, and it illuminates a lot about them to see how they act when they don't have the stuff they were taking for granted, essentially. Right. Is that television? Yeah. Does it? Yes. I mean, there's a lot of magical creatures this season, so we've been talking a lot about the anatomy of magical creatures. I can see that. I don't know. What lines are we crossing? Um, I, I, I like, um, in any kind of storytelling or in, or in biography, you know, when you hit that inevitable moment when the character loses everything or the person loses everything. You know, Franklin Delano Roosevelt, not an interesting guy until he gets polio. You know, at, kind of an anti-Semite, kind of an elitist. Kind of a kind of lazy and not very empathetic. Gets polio and it devastating. But it changes not only him and his wife and their relationship. I would argue not to get too macro. You can take a sort of chain of events, and if you agree that America's fighting in World War II helped turn the war toward the Allies, Franklin Delano Roosevelt saved the world. And in part because he got polio. In part because he was so alone and so distraught and wanted to kill himself. Imagine a world where he was not alive. So to me, this is our World War II season. It's The bullshit is gone. It's time to like strap on and get out there and sing. Really big, big musical numbers. <laughs> Is it safe to say that you're going to go completely off book for the next season? Because it seems like a lot of the elements that you've incorporated in the first two seasons have already happened in all three books. Right. So is there any other major things that you're going to Oh, no, no. We, there's a lot Munchak of books, too, we haven't even touched. Yeah. There's... Yeah. There's a, there's one might say a, a quest-like story. Yeah. Oh yes. Yeah. Um, oh yes. 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 Yeah. 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 No, no, we never I go. Forget on. about that. I'm yeah. sorry. And then okay. there's this magical boat. Yeah. Yeah. You are gonna do the magical boat. Oh yeah. The Munchak. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, we actually showed the sketches of it yeah. in the room, and hopefully we'll be able to put this up online so people soon will have episodes. So we'll be able to put stills of the boat. Up. Yeah. I look forward to it. <laughs> Alrighty, thank you guys. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Thank you.